Hi, my name is Jace Neely, and I'm with Boat and RV out at our wonderful campground in the wonderful state of Tennessee up in the mountains. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about one of the trailers that we sell here, which is the Catalina by Coachman. This is the 32BH DS model, which is a dual slide. It also is a uh, triple bunk, and as you can see, it's uh, aluminum sided. And just to give you some background, Coachman, uh, is the manufacturer. They've been in business now for 46 years producing these trailers and they've got a lot of wonderful functions and features. Let me go ahead and point some of those out to you today. First off we always have this outside propane extension that you can hook a full-size grill if you'd like but in all reality not too many people are going to do that because on this particular model we've got an outside kitchen which is perfect when you're outside grilling with the family having fun out in the campground you can take care of all the cooking of the fish and everything else that you do uh, without any of the smells being trapped inside. Also, you got a nice microwave out here and you've got a secondary refrigerator full of a freezer and places to put your drinks and condiments. You also have drawers out here as well, places to put your silverware and of course a sink. So as far as doing outside cooking, which everyone likes to do, you've got the whole package sitting right here. Um, and let's go ahead, let's, let's continue on with this. Um, of course, on this model, and majority of the models that we do, if not all of them, uh, are gonna come with a spare tire. Uh, you have your rain gutters on the top edges. This one, uh, this is the back end. This window is a rollout window. And just to let you know about a rollout window and the importance of it, is it's great for cross ventilation in the rain. So if you have a rainy day and things are getting stuffy inside with the kids running around, you can roll out those windows without any worry about any rain coming inside the trailer. Good little feature to have. Not to mention it's rounded and also tinted. Here's one of your slide outs. This slide out is going to contain two of the bunks that you'll see here in just a minute. And as we continue around, majority of this trailer on the outside is going to appear to be a lot of what you see out there right now. Um, but the good thing is I'm going to tell you about some of the stuff that you can see as far as the construction and what some of the things offer to you. Um, and this model is a uh, six gallon uh, direct spark ignition water heater. You've got a wonderful outside shower. So when you kids are out and running around either at the beach or uh, come back from a nice hike and you want to get rinsed off before bringing everything inside, you got a hot and a cold tap. Perfect. Here's all of your connections that you're going to use. Pretty standard to what is out there. Here's your secondary slide. And up front, we're going to have a uh, pass-through storage all the way through. It's going to house a lot of your chairs and all the stuff that you want outside. It's also great for storing uh, extra supplies, your clothing and plastic totes. And on all four corners of the travel trailers, you're going to have the scissor jacks. Now, the scissor jacks are probably one of the best ones that are out there right now for the market for travel trailers. Uh, very easy to use. little hint real quick. Grab your cordless drill with the bit adapter on the end and zip them up, zip them down so that you don't have to sit there and crank them by hand. little hint. And of course, no travel trailer is complete without your awning. This particular model will have a 22-foot awning. Gives you plenty of space to be outside even when it's raining. Let's go ahead and go inside. Let me show you some of the beautiful things inside. All right, so now we're inside your new travel trailer. We're gonna start over here with the kitchen. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the countertops. As you can see, it's a one piece. It's a thermal foil countertop, which is great to the fact that everything else that's out there, or a majority of the things that are out there, have a T molding, which um, if anybody ever spills anything on the countertop, which is gonna happen from time to time, that moisture doesn't have anywhere to penetrate, to swell up and separate. So you got a one piece thermal foil countertop, beautiful. You've got a nice 60-40 split sink so that you have plenty of room to be able to wash your dishes and also go ahead and rinse them off when you're done. So all the cabinetry as well is gonna be all hardwood surfaced on top. As you can see that everything is screwed in. Um, all the cabinetry itself as far as being attached to the wall is not a staple. Um, there are a lot of units out there that are. This one happens to be a screwed in cabinet. It's gonna allow you to put a lot more weight in it and it's gonna last a lot longer when you're traveling down the road, bouncing it everywhere. Of course, this one comes with the Magic Chef uh, 
microwave. This one has the hood light over the top, plus it also has the fan to it to help when you're cooking. You got a three burner stove. The top, the front one right here is the best one to use to boil up your waters and the two in the back are going to be great for uh, simmering. You also have an oven in down here to be able to uh, cook your biscuits and do things along those lines, bake some chicken. Of course you've got a nice eight cubic foot refrigerator. That's what's going to house all your drinks and food. And of course you can see it's a beautiful U-shaped dinette. Plenty of room for the family to get in and sit down and have breakfast or lunch and sit down and have a dinner. Uh, of course, this counter, this tabletop that you eat off of, the dinette tabletop, you just take off the legs. It rests down on uh, a lip here. That lip is going to allow you to put this into a bed. So in addition to the bunks that are on this unit, plus the full-size queen up front, you also have this dinette that can break down for you and turn into a, another alternative place to sleep. Now over here, you've got your couch. And just to kind of show it off a little bit, you got another place for uh, someone to sleep when they come over. Uh, this, of course, the dinette and the couch are in the big slide out. And as you can notice, it's a deep slide out. This is not a shallow one like uh, a lot of other travel trailers that are out there. All right, and here we go. Here's the bathroom. Of course, this one's going to come with a garden tub, which is great for giving the smaller children that you might have a bath at night, um, or maybe the children that have a lot of fur that need a bath. Anyway, so you've got yourself a nice shower here with curtains. You got a nice deep sink in, in, in here as well. You got a great medicine cabinet with a mirror so you can kind of check yourself out. Store a lot of stuff up there. Plus, you've got a nice spot underneath to put a bunch of towels so you, that you don't have to use storage somewhere else just for your towels. Um, toilet over here in the corner with plenty of space. So it's a nice little thing to have. Not to mention this one it comes equipped with a door. So you can access from outside coming in without having to drag a bunch of leaves or running through the rest of the coach just to come and use the bathroom. It's awesome when you have the kids running around and they just need to come in real quick and use the restroom and they've got their muddy feet and they're not gonna drag up your beautiful floor. So a nice little function to have. Two entrances, one for the bathroom. All right, enough about the bathroom. You're not gonna spend a lot of time in here anyways. Let's go on back to the bunks where the kids are going to be playing. And here we go. Come on into the kids' room. Let's go. And of course, we've got uh, three different spots for the kids to uh, sleep and a great room back here to kind of keep them out of the way for the adults to be able to have conversations and watch a TV program without having to the kids running around. This is their own place back here. This is their own little haven, which is awesome. So the first one I'm going to point out is right here. This bed is actually above where that outside kitchen is. It's got its own uh, built-in ladder. See that there? So the kids can get right up and in, and when they're done, you can put it right put it away. It's great. So you got a nice bed up here, comfortable. This is a great place to put a nice flat screen TV. And of course, no kids are complete without their video game systems, which is going to fit here just perfect. All the kids are going to have the same type of cabinetry throughout the whole coach, which is going to be uh, all hardwood. So you got plenty of places to put the kids' clothes, separate everything out. And over here is a great little area. This right here is going to act as a, a futon bed uh, and also couch. All right, and for you grandparents out there that are not going to take the grandkids every time you decide to want to go camping, the great thing is this slide out can just stay in and you can use this whole back area for extra storage, whether it be for clothes, whether it's bikes, anything that you want to take with you. If you're not using the room, you still can use the room. All right, and as far as this goes, you've got a central ducted AC unit that's all the way back here as well. There's one of your ports right here uh, that allows the air to come back here, keep it nice and cool. If it's too cool back here, all you got to do is turn it, it shuts it off and continues with the rest of the coach. Not to mention also uh, in the early spring and late fall when it gets really cool at nighttime and you want to keep the kids nice and warm, you got ducted heat in the back. Now also just to kind of mention that ducted heat that runs through the whole center of this coach also helps to keep the holding tanks from freezing up on you and all the piping um, because the underbelly or the, the bottom of this coach 
is completely enclosed. So the heat, when that's on, radiates those tanks and allows them to not freeze up on you. There's nothing worse than having to cut a vacation short because all your pipes decided to bust and you have no running water in the coach. Let's go to the bedroom. All right, and of course, we have the entertainment center. The uh, great late night thing to do right before you go to bed after playing some board games and stuff with the kids. Um, this is, of course, where the flat screen television would go. The greatest thing about that is when it's time for bed, for the kids and for the guests, but you mom and dad or you grandparents don't want to actually go to sleep yet, all you've got to do is just pull a pin and you can rotate that TV around to lay in bed and watch another movie if you'd like. Also it comes with a built-in CD player, also with a radio as well. Now there's alternative ports that you can hook in your mp3 players or anything else that you want fed through the speakers. Now those speakers are also built in. Uh, here's one as a prime example. All right, you guys, some more cabinetry to put your movies in. Let's go inside the bedroom. All right, so now we're in the front of the travel trailer, or if you'd like to call it the master suite, you've got a queen size bed. And of course, you have dual closets on either side of the bed. What they like to call the his and hers, or we all know that that really is the hers and hers. Guys, sorry. That's about all the space I'm sure she's going to give you right there. But anyways, you've got plenty of space in here. You do have a little nightstand if you'd like to uh, put an alarm clock, or if you have uh, reading glasses that you need to put down, you got a place to rest them at nighttime. And, uh, of course, the built-in speakers into the wall. And last but not least, something that everybody needs. <clears throat> a little bit of extra storage. Look at that in there. You've got access to, you've got access to put in uh, extra blankets and sheets and extra clothing as, as far as the storage goes. Uh, and also gives you a little bit of uh, an access to that pass through storage that's up front in case you need to reach in and grab something and actually don't want to go outside to get it. So there you go. All on uh, shocks as well and uh, just a nice little bonus to have. You'll find all kinds of reasons and things to put in here. Okay, so that's the master bedroom. Let's go ahead and finish up with a little bit more on the construction of this thing. Come on. All right, so obviously we've got linoleum inside here. This is a bow flooring. And just to let you know, the bow, the bow flooring is uh, stain resistant, slip resistant, and it's resistance against uh, mildew and mold as well, which is very important when it comes to a travel trailer. Um, also, it's a thick laminate. This isn't a real thin piece that if you scuff your feet, it's gonna rip up on you. It's gonna take a lot to put a gouge in this one. So you got good durable laminate that's gonna last a long time. Underneath this laminate, something that you can't see, is a residential 5 8 tongue and groove flooring, which is extremely strong, and it's not gonna be that OSB flooring that's in a lot of other units, or <laughs> what I like to call swell board. When it gets wet, it swells. This stuff's gonna last a long time for you guys. Good construction. You've got your underbelly that's completely enclosed and heated. That's gonna allow that floor to stay strong and true for you for a long time. Not to mention the top of this uh, beautiful travel trailer is a rubber roof that carries a 12-year warranty. So rest assured, this thing's going to last you a lifetime. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough that I gave you guys on the 32 BHDS Coachman Catalina. Stop by one of the four locations of Boat and RV where we make camping fun. See you soon.